Hi guys, Xavier here and today I'm going to give you a quick rundown on how to use our basic tripod. Now, if you're a filmmaker, and if you're anything like me, you need some stability in your life, and a tripod can do just that. They can keep your camera level, let you try out a wide variety of angles, and give your work a more professional, confident look. The tripod has three extendable legs that can be adjusted in length using these latches. Simply unclip to extend or shorten each segment of the leg, and then lock them back into place to secure them. In a typical shoot, you'll want your camera to be at your subject's eye level. Your tripod can be extended in both height and angle to achieve this. The central shaft of the tripod can also be extended in height to give you a little bit of a boost. Make sure that your tripod legs are secured and locked in place before attaching your camera. Remember, you'll always be working with expensive pieces of equipment and the last thing you want is for all that equipment to come crashing to the ground. To put the camera on the tripod, start by taking this quick release plate off the top of the tripod. You do this by releasing the safety catch and then pulling on this lever. Now, when attaching the plate to the camera, make sure that this small arrow is facing towards the lens. Screw the plate into the base of this camera by using the back of the screw itself. Do not turn the plate as you want that arrow to still be aligned with the lens of the camera. Once the plate is secured to the camera, attach it to the tripod like this. You need to make sure that the ridges on the plate match up to the grooves on the tripod, otherwise your camera will not be secure in place. After you've secured your camera to your tripod, make sure to turn the safety catch back into safe. Again, make sure the legs of your tripod are secure before letting go of your camera, just to make sure that nothing collapses. Remember, if the legs aren't secure, the camera won't have a leg to stand on. These two arms on the tripod are used to set and adjust the angle of the camera. They can be adjusted by twisting them to loosen, moving them to realign the camera's position, and then twisting the arms back to tighten them back into place. This arm moves the camera horizontally, and this one angles it up and down. Loosening these screws allows the camera to pan around. Now, if you leave these screws slightly loose, it'll be a lot easier for you to get a smoother, easier pan for your camera. Now listen closely, if any part of the tripod is damaged or not working properly, please let the technicians know as soon as possible. Do not risk using it, because any damages, accidental or not, will result in charges for you, because other people need this equipment on a day-to-day -day basis. One final note, when carrying your tripod out and about, please make sure to collapse the legs as you move it, because impaling people on the street is probably best avoided. Never, and I repeat, never move your tripod with the camera still on it. Always take it off and safely store it before moving your equipment. When filming in a public space especially, you need to be aware of how much space you and your tripod take up. Health and safety is a priority and you need to make sure that you're not obstructing pedestrians or putting yourself at risk wherever you're filming. I understand that it's very easy to get caught up in what you're doing while you're filming, but you need to make sure that you try to at least be aware of what's going on around you. Maybe bring a friend along with you while filming so that they can spot any potential problems before they occur. A well set up tripod is essential for professional looking work and it's something that you'll need to become very familiar with. That's all for today, I've been Xavier, signing off.